I'm going to miss this game when we finish it. Yeah. You and me both. But, for now, let's just have a bit of a retrospective as the Ouija goes into the dark. And not for the moon. That was last game. <laughs> hey everyone, welcome back to Luigi's Mansion 3. In last in last episode, we took on Hel Hel Helen Gravely. And we came out on top and also released Mario from up top. Except he ran on ahead and we're just casually going to ignore him. <laughs> so, in this episode, we are going to go back through the entire mansion. And just get the few things that we missed or, or yet to boo pick off. And we'll go from there. And in the meantime, we can have a bit of a retrospective on what we like about this game, what we don't like, and really, really just our overall thoughts on this project in a nutshell. Mm -hmm. So, I guess, I guess I'll, I'll go first, because a little, a little bit of a backstory. But this series, Al Alice has more of an affinity with this series than I do, so I feel like I I'll, I'll, I'll just get my fourth out of the way and give and give her the clear, as I get stuck on the terrain for some reason. Reason just there. This game I feel like is very fun. It's creative. It's a lot bigger than the original mansion. That's that's for damn sure. Mm -hmm. And I feel like it's very creative. It mixes a lot of the good things about the original, as well as the upgrades that Dark Moon gave, gave it. All well and good for that. Yeah. One of the negatives I feel like this game has is that it's asking you to, to backtrack through a lot of levels in which you didn't need to. Mm -hmm. As in like... The cats per se, or the fact that some some uh, some floors con uh, constantly respawn with ghosts, and do does really give you a good incentive as to why, or just simply a case of having to go back through stages and get collectibles, which you have no idea how to get in the first place. I mean, like I'm, I like for example the fur. Oh, I see what you want me to do. Fair enough. Fair enough. We did it. We found the thing. Crap. Ah, <laughs> <sighs> uh, no. But yeah, it's. I feel. I feel. Uh, I feel like some of this is needless backtracking, especially with things regarding the cat. Nice shot. And granted, some of the optional extras for this game doesn't really seem to be important. Like, for example, with the booze. In, in in the main game, it was very it was very story specific in what you wanted it, you know, and finding the booze and it, and it created, on a sort of narrative wise, it made sense to collect all the booze. Mm -hmm. Here it just seems like uh, the booze are just a collectible in which you can get, like the treasures, and I don't feel like the booze should get that kind of you know, shaft regarding the story. And in the original, didn't collecting the booze made King Boo weaker? Yes. Yes, yes, indeed, and it even tied it even tied into one of the bosses. And in fact, one of the overall narratives, the entire plot. Now, granted, I know, I know, I know, Luigi's Mansion is never known for story, but still, still, it's just it's just those inconsistencies from the original that you you just you, you just can't help but feel. That was that. Oh. What the hell? Oh. Help. Help, help. There's no point to this guy because he just gives him one coin. Yes. He's a douche. Oh my god. Say, saying that. Alright, 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 bozo. Hang on. Yes, that's that's fine game, but I would like to get the I get this thing. 
So, in a nutshell, this game does have a lot of drawbacks. But, I will say, its soundtrack, very nice. Its atmosphere, fantastic. The character designs, as far as the boss fights and uh, boss designs, uh, designs go, very, very catchy. Generic enemies, though, are say are samey, and I really wish they had a bit more variety. Like all the goobs and whatnot. Yeah, that's kind of a downplay for me. But, again, I've let that grieve and stand before, so that's all I'll say on, on that one. But no, this game is solid. Granted, do I feel like it's better than the Louis, uh, the original mansion? Control-wise? Oh no. Oh no, this control is a lot better and makes a lot, lot more sense regarding player, player control. I'll never give it that. But the one thing I cannot let this game get away with in any way, shape or form is the absolute abomination that they call the, uh, the, game, uh, uh, the GameCube control scheme. It is terrible. Whoever came up with the cut and uh, control scheme, obviously, I feel like didn't play the original mansion. Mm -hmm. The fact that, as the GameCube controller, you you don't have some of uh, the moves, as in like the jump button and also the ability to blow, that to me is a crime, and I feel like it's just it's just a weird omission. But that's just me. So, oh, well, otherwise though, a very, a very solid entry to the, uh, to the series, and as always, I'd love to play more. And I feel like Next Level Games did a fantastic job in in doing the ground in in doing the groundwork for of Dark Moon so much so that Nintendo decided to work on that. You know what? I appreciate. It. I appreciate that. Mm -hmm. So, in my in my in my opinion, a solid seven point five out of ten. I feel, <laughs> or or eight. You know what? Screw it. I'll go with an eight. <laughs> so now, uh, since that's now my drab is oh is over and done with. As I die unfairly, game game game. Why? <laughs> I'll shift it over to Alice. So. Alice, by all means, take it away with your hot take because you are you are you are more of a series expert and fan than I am. I wouldn't call myself an expert because I've never played Dark Moon. <laughs> yeah, but regarding the original, you are so. I, I still would like to get your in your input on it. Well, one thing I could definitely say about this game is that it's got a lot of charm. Mm -hmm. I love how the minor details, like if you can. You just blow and suck on Egad, and and he reacts accordingly. Just the tiny little subtle animations that occur, and with like Luigi when he can take a shower under the faucet and whatnot. Mm -hmm. A lot of love and care when into little things, and even even with the random pearls on the ground, <laughs> even with the ra ra random nods to like uh, other elements of gaming. Such as uh, or or for the games that next level games worked on, include including Dark Moon and Punch Outs. Like that's such a that's such a nice omission. Mm -hmm. I guess to enter your thoughts briefly is another is another nitpick I have is the inconsistency of quality that that the boss fights had. As some of them were fun, a lot of them were chat. A challenging both in gameplay and in um, ideas, but there are but there are some that I feel like weren't quite fleshed out or thought or thought out properly. Mm -hmm. The biggest ones that come to mind is 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 the night fight. Yeah, <laughs> it's challenging, but its openings are way too quick and not and way and way too subtle in order for a not. A normal gamer to grasp and this game is it's not it's not intended for kids but it, if it was targeted towards kids let's let's be real mm -hmm. because it's a Nintendo I don't feel like a lot of kids would know would know the obvious tricks but that's probably 
That's probably just me. Mm -hmm. Another one that comes to mind is that goddamn farmer's fight. Yeah. God, sod that one. Its openings took way too long, and it just... Again, just the animations just... I don't know, it just made it a tad unfair. Another gripe that I always have with one of the boss fights is one is one of the last ones in in the disco area. I feel like it's way too muddled and way too has a has too much going on mm -hmm. with the fact that you can't re really make heads to heads or tails in what you're meant to do. Another subtle piece of environment environmental store a storytelling this has. It's something like this. Yeah. That's our last gem for the top floor. Mm -hmm. Now let's work, work, work our way down from top to bottom and we'll give some more thought as we go. Mm -hmm. um. Hi! Bye! There's, e there's even a boo in here somewhere. <laughs> I'm an, I'm a new boo. Time to time to skip the goddamn text because I didn't see what happened. There you are. A new boo is in the land of the dead now. <laughs> Anubu, Anubu apparently had a lot of, lot of gold on him. Oh, you have to get the brain out of the, out of the nose when you do mummification. That sort of resembles, uh, um, that I suppose. Anyway, go hole, go down. How do we not see that? <laughs> because we were frantic because of scaling. But there, there we go. Job, job done. Um. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Can I help you? <laughs> What is with these guys? <laughs> well worth our time. Yeah. Let's get red hair rings like that. Yeah. <laughs> Very annoying. That was that. I don't know. I mean, you heard that, right? Mm hmm. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Ah. Oh, what the? <laughs> we weren't even expecting to find that. <laughs> just bouncing around, just thought. Did we just like mix anything? What is with you guys? <laughs> it's okay. They died. <laughs> Oh no, wah. <laughs> Turn into Waluigi there for a second. Oh no, wah. Ow. How did we not find this? I think we did. This might be, be Peach's room? Yeah. Yeah, we, yeah, yeah, we've been in here. It's in Mario's bathroom, apparently. Alright. What, what has Mario done? Hold away. Chest you've already gotten too. 
Right, there's somewhere in here then. Huh? What did you do? I just turned the tap on. <laughs> Mario, you sneaky little bastard. <laughs> oh no, Mario's going to hoard it. <laughs> and keep gems all to himself. <laughs> I have no idea what the hell happened there. <laughs> I just filled up the bath and it came out. Sorry about that, uh, sorry about that. So Mario is very insistent on not taking a bath. <laughs> That's a disgusting. Or, or, horny shower. <laughs> also, wash your hands. Please. <laughs> I mean, uh, let's uh, go. Mario can't get political. <laughs> not at all. <laughs> even though Mar, even though Mario saving a princess over and over and over and over and over again might give a sense of sexism, but uh, again, Mario can't get political. Damsel in distress. <sighs> May maybe. Or archetype from way, way back. This seems like a job for Guigi Hole. <laughs> All right, so what do I need to do? Please do not let it be an easy one, or else I'm going to kick myself. That's showing a secret ooh hole. Please don't be an easy one. Game. No, thank God. It's just money. <laughs> it's money I'll take, but. One thing I will say about this game is that compared to the original, I do like the I do like the original's tone better. It's just me preferring a darker theme. This one seems more charming and funny, but the very first Luigi's Mansion was creepy. I got that creepy feeling a lot more in the original than in this one. Yeah, do you feel like it's it feel like it's because Luigi was on his own without any any help from Toad or Egad or anyone else? Yeah, and and the fact that the the total atmosphere. I mean, because this hotel feels like a vacation, but the hot but the mansion felt like Luigi was on his own in a dark mansion in the middle of nowhere. It just set the dark, the creepy theme a lot better than this one does. I you know what I will give you that because I feel I I feel like. My fa my fa uh, my favorite moment out of all the Luigi Mansion games, inclu including this one, is is the first game in which you're out in the garden and you go down that passageway, mm -hmm. and then the cutscene starts, which you see King Boo admiring Mario's painting. Yeah. Yeah. That. Yeah. That. Yeah. That was creepy for its time, and it all and it was pretty much just the first sense of like. Oh no, Ma Mario. <laughs> it's very subtle and, I oh don't know, it just gave me a sense of dread and, I oh don't know, just like, like, uh, like, uh, like real fear, I guess. Yeah, I feel like the ghosts in the first one were creeper too. Because, mm -hmm. like, in this game, it feels like, like, like the boogs, or the goobs, for instance, that they're very charming. They have their own little cute personalities. They don't feel creepy. They just have personality, which is actually can be a positive thing. I do like the personalities of all the ghosts in this game. But like, for instance, in the first one, I will admit the the boss that creeped me up the most was Boogmire. Yeah, yeah, Bo yeah, Bogmire. Yeah, Bogmire. In the cemetery. <laughs> yeah, he creeped I, me out the most as a kid. I can completely, I, I, I can completely agree. And the song that put, and his, the song that plays when you battle him is creepy too. Yeah. <laughs> I just like the creepier aesthetic of the first one, but Ch the charm of this one. Yeah, and in and in, in a nutshell, one one thing that I also do do love is if you take time. How the hell do we miss that? <laughs> <laughs> how in the frick did we miss that? <laughs> My God! <laughs> I'll take the money, yes, but. Jesus! <laughs> yeah, but anyway, m m my point is, if you look around, a very, 
various elements in, in the original mansion, you'll see books and see little, little tidbits of how there was this family of ghosts. And how are they all connected to each other? How say, and they also gave you tips on how to fight the other ones. Mm -hmm. As in, like, say, um, early on, early on, you get books on the twins saying they don't like giraffes, you know, and they don't like to, they don't like to be disturbed with uh, uh, feather toys and whatnot. It was just subtle backstory to uh, uh, for the boss ghost that made it all feel connected. Yeah, and the fact that it connected all of the ghosts and made them a family, and the fact that they're a family of ghosts, it made it even creepier because you're basically going into this mansion saying this entire family died because there's, there's ghosts there. Eh, it's just the little things. I mean, this game was not meant to be taken seriously. Its atmosphere is meant to be on the comedic side, and you know what? It works. Mm-hmm. Also, my game controller is going nuts because the booze nearby. I don't know. I just feel like as a as, as a complete package, the original had more of a. It was more consistent, I'll say. Mm-hmm. So, I so though, it's a game. It's a game. It's a game that I very love, nonetheless. And it it is a subtle thing, but just the fact that there's a glitch in the game where Luigi's shadow's hanging himself that only adds to the creepy effect of the game, and that's why I just love it. It was hell. It was hell pooping for cre a creepy pasta. You know it was. Yeah, I don't know. It's just me being a horror fan. It's just that's me preferring the original in that regard. But I do love the charm in this a lot more. And I will fully admit there might be nostalgia goggles that are, ta that are taking place, but eh, still, if you enjoy it, why not enjoy it? <laughs> I, mean, I mean, the game became a cult classic for a reason. Mm -hmm. Hello, Boo. I'm Boogie, number one. Luigi. <laughs> Luigi, number one. Yeah, yeah. We, we didn't. We skipped him, I remember. <laughs> oh my god. Well, no more. I'll bash him into the sink and bash him into some fruit. Feels like fruit. Grab Boo by the tongue because that's what Boo's like to do. down. Hang on, is there something missing from there? I know, I, I didn't mean to exit. Let's see if I didn't think. <laughs> A banana is stuck in the wall. <laughs> I bel <laughs> well, that's not, that's not phallic at all, is it? <laughs> that is, that is a ghost being immature, I swear Glory to Glory hall. Instead of Gooigi Hall. <laughs> I hope the microphone's picked up my audible face palm there. <laughs> I sincerely hope so. <laughs> because Al, uh, because Alice, my God. <laughs> my God, honey. <laughs> uh, it's a good thing I love you. <laughs> that is all I'll say. Uh, let us exit and get rid of, and get rid of the phallicness in there, please. <laughs> oh, good lord! Glory freaking hole! <laughs> glory, glory hole! Are you insane? <laughs> Obviously. As a whole, though, I will say I adore this game. Don't say hole. Please don't say whole. I'm trying to make a serious point. Okay. Yeah, go on. I I, I adore this game. I, I feel like it's one of the more relaxing projects we've had because Fire Emblem's been story-based and it's been exciting, but this one's been charming and relaxing and just fun to enjoy. Astral Chain has definitely been uh, a struggle, let's put it that way. Yeah. <sighs> Hey, wait a minute. Ah, 
I'm going to skewer you with a, with, with a sword. We've been to this place. We've been to this room how many times now? <laughs> Too many. <laughs> That's say collect every gem. Oh, gems, yep. Did we do it? Uh-huh. Now we just have booze left. <laughs> well, that that was That was fun. That was a game. <laughs> and, and we got it in the game's room. <laughs> oh, I feel so proud of that joke and joke, but not joke at the same time. <laughs> As those ghosts whistling and singing joyfully in the background. <laughs> Just as a whole, I I really love this game. Mm-hmm. Me too. It's charming and definitely been and relaxing. That's for god got a uh, goddamn sure. Mm-hmm. And I definitely loved playing it with you because I can imagine it wouldn't have been as fun if I'd done it solo. Aw, oh, you are very welcome, honey. <laughs> I, I'll admit, I love the little charm cuteness of Guiji having him there by my side. Y y y you know what? You know you know what? That brings me to another point, I feel like. Mm -hmm. Guiji either breaks this game entirely in co-op, or there are elements about it which... Subdue the name's... Position. All right, time for me to play myself out. Position. <laughs> Position. Yeah, I do feel like this game either was not made for co-op immediately, or or Guiji just completely breaks the game in some ways. Yeah. And I feel like Boozition has left the building. I think our entire playthrough of the Garden Suite says it all with y Guiji. Yeah. <laughs> we had funny moments with Guiji, and we had stressful moments with Guiji. And an example of exa example of co-op just not being fun is the shopping mall mall level. Most of it was literally gu uh, Guiji. Yeah, I'll admit that when we went to the shopping mall and you did a lot of the work, I got kind of disheartened I couldn't do much. Nah. And that's one of the reasons why I feel like this game wasn't well thought out regarding co-op. But I can understand why, but still, it's an admission I have I have to make. Yeah, I was worried the rest of the game was going to have elements like that where it was just Guiji the whole time, but I was relieved to find that it wasn't. I got a lot of parts to... What's up, dude? I'm in another room. <laughs> He's still here. Where are you? One positive thing I'll say about this game is there, I, I like the soundtrack. Oh, yeah. Especially, of course, the basement. And I like the result song that plays after we complete a floor. Eh. Uh -huh. It's just so charming and just so happy. And I like, I'll admit, I like the title song. Mm-hmm. The hell? hear that song one more time I'll admit let's play it out chum <laughs> in a banjo <laughs> let's hope it plays at all please I'll be very upset if it doesn't <gasps> yes! <Yeah! laughs> oh, yeah. this has been Luigi's mansion free on the switch it's been lots of fun, but the end's begun. 
let's just have fun with the rest and then we will be done. <laughs> I have to get it done one more time, all right? <laughs> it's a good guess, uh, the soundtrack, but also very, very silly. Yeah. Is there a chance this thing is going to be multi-layered and we're going to have to go down here? Oh, we so hope not. I'm Calm Booster! Boosh! Looks like you stayed in the bath for too long. Oh my god. <laughs> well, the boo's gone, the banjo's back. Yay! <laughs> Hi, I'm Boo, and I just left you in my boo dust. <laughs> the song continues. Very nice. Hey, look! It's my favorite instrument in this game. <laughs> Sorry, Banjo. You'll come back. A booster. I like how it has the creepy orchestra and then this song pops up out of nowhere. Just wanted to be a troll. That's what banjos are. They're just a troll song. And if you don't want to take anything serious. Goddamn piggy bank at nothing. <laughs> He went to the boss area. What a douche. <laughs> I'm a douchey boo. <laughs> I went back to the boss area cause I'm a fool. But you're gonna catch me in the boss room. Oh well at least I had fun. Now to go to doom. In time, in time, record all oh, doing this kind of, that's kind of accurate, because Doom's just cut, just to cut, uh, come out. I like how the, the normal song has become creepier. <laughs> the random twangs of a goddamn banjo. <laughs> The boss fight has now has now become banjified. Excellent. It's okay, I killed them all. <laughs> all the ghosts are now dead inside my backpack. Oh, that's why I couldn't go through the door. <sighs> you, you didn't press X? No, because the ghosts were still there. Ah. All right, Boo. Where where are you in this rubber ducky fight? <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't in there at all. <laughs> Why do you run? It gives us more chance to listen to the banjo. That's another. That's another mission. At least in the original, when you found the booze, at least it didn't. At least it gave you a chance to get it in. Oh well. You cannot jump there, Luigi. <laughs> I like to alliterate. The Mario Brothers can't jump in a game. <laughs> That's like Sonic can't run fast. Except they made a game like that and it was a, and it was a stupid idea. Great job, Sega. <laughs> Let me guess, I gotta go down again. Yes, I do. <laughs> God damn, boo! 
this is taking the piss. Alright, I'm pissed off with this goddamn boo. When I catch up with you, guess what? I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> I should never be a countryman singer. Uh huh. Is it because we don't find his hiding place and he, and he just pisses off? Uh, uh, uh. He'll be right back. <laughs> God diggity dang boo. I get the sinking feeling you might be right though. Because he's going to the same areas. This is wasting time. It's a goddamn cram. But when I get through with this, I will say right time. <laughs> because I gotta, I gotta include Xenoblade Chron Chronicles in there somewhere. Right. I'll check the washer. You check. You you check the fridge. Mm -hmm. I got him. Where are you, you, you booey bastard? Lick my vacuum with your face. Get in my vacuum's belly! Yeah. And we're done. <laughs> we get precious money. Now we've now we've one one book called it's time for us to, to leave the precious banjo behind. <laughs> banjo, it's been fun, but we got to run. You were the he best song. In this old time, that did not rhyme, but I just don't care. When I get that banjo, I know you'll be there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going nuts, get me out of here please. <laughs> I'm going insane. Rest in peace, Banjo. <laughs> we got achievements. Thank you, Banjo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, Luigi. You're, 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 you are, are in the spotlight. I need a rope. I can get you to hang yourself. <laughs> yeah. That I turned. was just thinking that, but I didn't want to mention it. Yeah. Let's go dark. I'm Boo Fruda! Ah shoot, looks like you saw me through that trick. I am befuddled! Yeah, it must be just the boos disappear if you get the hiding spot wrong. Wait, you know what? Makes sense, but I, I don't I don't think you should punish the player like that. Because the original had a uh, boo balls and boo bombs out as that pay as that price. In the box. He's inside the box, he's not going anywhere. <laughs> that was stupid. <laughs> and morbid too. He was being sawn in half as light shone through his eyes. <laughs> I am more than half tempted to try and figure out how to get to that piggy bank on the goddamn great stage. Uh We'll do that as a bonus episode. <laughs> the quest for the piggy bank. Your Luigi senses are tingling. <laughs> mm -hmm. I 
I can tell from the sound that that's the correct one. Yeah. My name is Boons. I missed my text, and now I'm going to miss my life. Nice ghost fog, though. <laughs> Until I wasn't. <laughs> Arrgh, me hearties. I be Boucaner. Let me sail that dead booty to blender. Boucaneer. Not the boo, but I'll take it. I got the boo off, off over here. Now the boo is mine. <laughs> And happy pirate music ensues. Aye, the boo, aye, the ghost be dead. <laughs> and now it's time for a shanty. A bit of an Irish pirate jig. I don't know where I was going with that. I, I be a fool. <laughs> I'm losing my mind if you couldn't tell. But that, that, that was easy. <laughs> Yo, I'm booty good. You're pretty good. You didn't work it out? <laughs> I hope so. Because uh, cause you're my booty. He's in the goddamn swimming pool. Well. I was going to say, he's locked in here with me, but now he seems to be all over the goddamn place. <laughs> Trapped like a goddamn rat with us here. Hey! That was our last boo. That was our last boo indeed. All gems collected, all boo, all boos got, all collectibles done and dusted. Now, there's only one thing left to do. Mm-hmm. Get your gads and get all the toads and go home. It'll be perfectly fine. <laughs> Mario's out. There's no way he'll be in peril twice in one game. <laughs> yeah. No, no chance. So, guys, I guess I guess that's that. So, next episode, we'll just be going back up to the top, and we'll and we'll see Mario with you know King Boo in hand, and you know, and the job done. Mm -hmm. Take Mario and the Toads back and we'll be fine. Yeah, it'll be a short episode, but you know what? It's just an epilogue. Let's call that an epilogue. <laughs> so, guys, if you like this episode, be sure to, sure to like it. If you didn't, didn't like it, well, you can go to the same, uh, uh, same place as all the booze went in our boo, boo, booty vacuum. <laughs> and we'll see you all in next episode. So... If you want to subscribe to see more, be, uh, be sure to subscribe, and we'll see you all next time. Thank you for watching.
<laughs> we'll make the water come back though. Mm-hmm. Why? I wanna go swimming. <laughs> uh, we'll see you next time.